taking it all in, hearing from John Gruden on his expectations, wanting to get rid of instant replay, hearing from head coach of the year, Sean McVay, on how he's going to handle all those personalities in his locker room. And what if I told you, mm -hmm. we already know that Bill Belichick was late, Tom Coughlin, not there yet. What? Mr. Five, <laughs> no. Arrive five minutes early or you're late. If you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you're dead. That's what they say. Come yeah. on, coach. We're going to send it out to Bill Belichick. I think he's still asked about uh, Malcolm Butler's benching even now. He should be. I think it cost him a Super Bowl. Oh, let's send it out to Orlando. I'm going to ask you about a few of the additions we didn't get to talk about today. Uh, what, uh, what made you guys want to pursue Jason before he is here? You know, all the guys that we got, obviously, we're happy to have. And um, glad that it worked out. Uh, with all of them, see how it goes, and uh, you know, put them into the program and give an opportunity to compete like everybody else, and just you know, see how it works out. But glad that you know we had some trades, uh, signed a couple guys, a uh, few guys, three, but and so good to have them, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Jason uh, is probably going to help with some disguise on defense. <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be fooled more than anybody. I've been I've been hit on that one before. <laughs> Two sets of twins, so I think we're in a lead on that in the league. Do you know, do you know last time, the only time that ever happened? 1926. Is that right? Louis, Louisville Colonels or Colonials? Is that right? Yeah, just give it up. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, it's almost a century. Golson twins, I think it was. Two sets. Gene, Gene, uh, just no, Gene and Tom Golson, 1926. Right, is this two oh, sets on one team? Oh, just, just one, one set of twins. Oh, wait, this is two with the Hollisers. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what I'm saying. We, we lead a league in that. We need, yeah, we need Cody though to uh, come through. Yeah. Uh, just sticking in like the defensive backfield, we haven't had a chance to ask you about Duran and you had any sort of reaction to that situation. I think it's all been covered, yeah. He just released a statement, Ron released it. I mean, uh, it's nice to uh, extend Pat Chung's contract. Yeah, it's all the moves we've made this spring are good to make contracts, the additions. So it's part of the whole team building process. It's always exciting to go through that. Some of it's this year, some of it goes into future years. So when you bring players in, whether it be for meetings or for the visits or at the combine, you sit down with them, how much can you tell about the potential fit that they could have with the team? It's just one piece of the puzzle. The puzzle has a lot of pieces to it. That's one of them. So we try to put it all together and figure it out the best we can. It's, it's one component. It's not the only thing, but just, you know, it's another sliver. We didn't get to ask you about Nate Solder the other day. Uh, he's been with the team for seven years or so. Just uh, how much did he mean to the program over the years, and how tough was it losing him in free agency? Yeah, well, we lost several players in free agency. That's the NFL. Every team goes through that. And um, you know, Nate was Nate did a great job for us. And he's got a great opportunity in New York. We wish him well. You have a lot of uh, bodies to replace him. Not a whole lot of NFL experience at the, in a regular season at left tackle. Feel confident that the his replacement's on the roster right now, or feel confident with moving forward that position? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of team building left for us and every other team in the league, so we'll see how it goes. I spoke with you briefly on Sunday about the catch rule. Has any progress been made from the meetings that you've had? Of any hearing, any updates on that? No. Uh, sure, there'll be a lot more discussion about it today. Did you guys have much interaction with Danny Shelton in the free draft process? I know he was going on much higher than you guys would pick, but yeah, we I mean we talked to a lot of players, um, most all of them. But yeah, he wasn't obviously really in our range at that point, but I mean we still <coughs> quite a bit of background on him all the way back to high school. It's all pretty positive. Waddle has played I would guess the majority of his time at right tackle. Uh, are you confident if you wanted to move him to the left side, or is it possible to quantify how much of his time has been split on each side? Split both sides. I was just curious, like, in, so is it basically like an even split of practice? Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah. Same position. I'm Cole Croston. Do I have it right that he didn't miss a practice last year? Same, same. 
Yeah, probably not. Uh, not many, if any. He, like, what did he do to sort of catch your eye? You know, I mean, coming from undrafted to making the team and then really being kept on the 53, you know, all year. Well, he's a developmental prospect. Um, you know, has some position for versatility. Um, it's been a good program. It's worked hard. It's improved. You know, obviously, didn't get any playing time during the season or very little. But um, see how it goes this year. You know, he did enough in training camp to make the roster, and um, we ended up carrying after Marcus went on injury reserve. I think we ended up carrying eight linemen the rest of the year. So similar to 16 season. Let's see how it goes. Good job, Bill. I know he doesn't love answering those questions, but those reporters doing a great job in asking the right ones. What's going on? You get rid of Nate Solder. What's the plan at left tackle? The left tackle depth in this draft class, not so great. He yeah. did talk about re-signing Adrian Waddle, who was good for them last year when available. But yeah, you know, you're focused on him standing. Yeah, well, what do you got, Nate? So, so many things. One, it's hard for me to understand him, so all I could do is, is look at the pure aesthetics of the visual. And one, his face, when people are asking questions, it's like that Kevin Hart face. He's just like, oh, my, another annoying question. And then him standing up versus sitting. Every other coach is sitting down. And I was told that you can always tell a lot about a person by the the way they park their car, mm -hmm. whether you go forward or park backwards, or how they stand in a crowded room. And Bill Belichick purposely like put himself up against the wall so nobody's behind him. Strategic. So he can keep everything in front of him, which is his career as a coach. Art right? of war. I, I got my back against the wall, huh. everybody's in front of me, and I can see the whole room. That's how he is every single season. I got my back against the wall, right. and I can see the entire landscape of the NFL. But it's, it switches like this, Kyle, because I was just raving last week in uh -huh. Mount Laurel how it's Belichick's season, baby. And uh -huh. he's loosened up and he's at pro days and he's coaching these kids up having the time of his life laughing smiling there's being memes made and then put him in a room with the coaches back to business and he's a different guy he does have a switch I, i'm thinking he might just be standing because he's in line for the omelet bar you know what i mean or he's it's like true. what was it k the waffle iron with the spray did he like move a step during the interview I, I, might have, I, I might. double spray <laughs> you double spray i think he's with the english muffin machine that treadmill of death right you got to do one of those i just i honestly i'm sitting here watching him like i can't believe he still goes there to those things like Harrison Ford does not sit at a table at Comic-Con and sign Star Wars pictures. So Sigourney <laughs> Weaver ain't getting 200 bucks to sign Aliens pictures. Yeah. I feel like he doesn't show up for the coach's photo. He hasn't done it in Do years. Do you think he's, like, standing at the door? Like, he, like, so? pops in? Oh, and he checks it out? Yeah, probably does. Yeah, I think his next contract will be like, I'm not going to these owners' meetings, okay? I get yeah. to the AFC title game every year. Enough with this, with the omelets and the, the fruit salad and the, the English muffins. I'm done. <laughs> it's so great curious. theater, man. And you know what's going on with Brady, after Brady. Yeah. Is there a backup plan? B Bill, what is your plan? Come on the show and talk to us. Yeah, Bill, what do you think? Kyle Brandt <laughs> <Kyle Brandt, laughs> and Bill Belichick need to have a sit down. Yeah, I'm all into it. Bill, did you see Lady Bird? What did you think? I got all kinds of questions <laughs> to ask. I thought it was overrated. We'll Bad be back Juno. after this. If you have any questions for these coaches, you can tweet us and hashtag GMFB. We can try to filter them over to Peter Schrager, who will be sitting with Hugh Jackson. Oh.